Okay, so we want to do some nanoscale Mona Lisa patterning. So we select our image. We go to grayscale mode. We choose our depth range. Let's go 20, 15. So you're going to have 15 nanometer there. 15 nanometer to 50 nanometer depth range. That's a width of seven DNA molecules. Yeah, stacked some, on top of each other. That's like the depth that, that you yeah. are going to write Mona Lisa with. Yes. So, so how how big is it going to the image going to be in size? So it's it's roughly ten by ten micrometers, Whoa. a little bit bigger. So actually, okay. if you scale it down a little bit, you can write the Nano Mona Lisa on a red blood cell. That so is small. crazy. That's very crazy. I okay, agree. so that you know. So we import that. We bring so, it in. Yeah, that's that's micrometer. Yeah. Uh, we make a new layout like that. We go in our world map. And we choose the Mona Lisa, should be, home. This is where our tip is. So you see, this is what we're going to okay, pattern okay, okay. here. Yeah. And this here is a microscope image of our cantilever. Okay. So, so it's kind of zoomed kinda in. You can see the cantilever there, yep. right? So yeah, that's where yeah. the tip is. So now we're basically set to go, and we tell it, play. And the really cool thing with this tool so, is in real time, so that's it's, on top of the, or the next to the No, DGU this was the previous field, so previous, now we'll okay. do a new one. And what's really but, cool is in real time, we're going to measure the surface as we're patterning it, and it will update to improve such that it matches the desired pattern you want to write in right. real time. So, so you really get this immediate feedback. Already. Okay, so it's preparing now. Now it's preparing. It's measuring the surface. Is it tilted? Is it flat? Does it need to adjust? And so now here we see, so this is live data, surface topography measurement. So it's, that's... I've done lithography for like what thirty years, and this is just like science fiction to me. Although yeah. it's in uh, in our own lab, and, and you see now it's adjusting a bit. So the the red line is the desired. So it's, it's writing topography. It's writing Mona Lisa in a what, twelve in a by sixteen yeah. micrometer area yeah. with a resolution of what yeah, 10, 10 nanometer pixel 10 size or so, maybe twenty. Size. It has a depth of about 30, 40 nanometers. Okay, pinch so me. I'm dreaming. pretty pretty close to molecularly precise, and you see. So now that's it's so fast. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. So this whole thing takes less than five minutes for a scanning probe in that area. That's remarkable. Oh, that's ridiculous. And you see, this is really really. So this cool is part. this you can't really see it what it is doing except looking super cool, <laughs> and uh, moving very very little because you know this here, is here. You this see is, this would be like yeah. So that would be. It's about a red blood cell. Yeah, it's a red, like a blood cell. Yeah, that's yeah. about a red blood cell here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And this yeah. is really the amazing part: is you see how locked on the topography is compared to what you actually want it to do, and that's what's unique about this tool, and nothing else in the world can do actually. Here, you see from the background a bit that the tip is patterning in real time, oh, it's so fast. it's very fast. It's very fast. Yeah. And, and these. This pattern is made by the tip being heated up uh, and cooled off super fast, and whenever it's hot, it's sort of evaporating the. It's hot the polymer, and it pushes right? down into pushes the surface, down, yeah, so and then the polymer decomposes, yeah. sort of sublimates, yeah, and yeah. then it's uh, using this and controlling how hard you push down, you can control the topography of the surface. And you can see that the height is here is going from the 47 to. So it's, it's so a little it's bit more. It's a range like of about 40, 50 nanometers. Or 50 yeah. nanometer, all right. Oh yeah, we can go to the 3D view, that's also very cool. And okay. uh, here... Change the scale a bit, the cover scale. And there she is. And it's just quite never, easy to she's see. She's never been more, more mysterious than now. No, and it's funny because, I mean, you can look from uh, all these different angles. Okay, okay. But in the end, our brains pick it up when we sort of look in this projection here. <laughs> yeah. And that's the thing, in, in, uh, that's in real time it's being sculpted, right? Yeah. And you, you see... It, it, I think the real, the, the, it's the effect that you get the kind of real time it's amazing, feedback right? is a game changer. Yeah, in, in, absolutely. In the, and you really yeah. see the topography of the landscape evolving. Yeah. Oh, that's... Okay, that's... So this video started five, <laughs> five minutes ago. And, and now we have Mona Lisa. Now we have Mona Lisa. Nano Mona Lisa. And nano Mona Lisa with a with a ten to the ten nanometer pixel size and probably twenty nanometer resolution, right? Yeah. 
something like that. Blood cell size. The size of the Nano. Nano. Okay, thank you, Nolan. That was a very, very yeah, cool demonstration. We're very happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right.